friends this is vr patel park and here we are going to here we are operating the solidworks software uh, the 2014 model and first i am going to show uh, the different kinds of the command and first we are drawing uh, this drawing okay uh, this drawing has a three view top view front view and the side view okay. side view means this we are looking from this side so that's why the this is the front view and at the above side this is the top view and this is the side view from this side okay the mechanical engineer student understand in the very well manner these things because in the first year they got uh, this kind of subject so first uh, drawing this kinds of the command we have to open the first at the new click on new and then you find out the three kinds of the command at here the first one is part a 3d representation of single design component means here we are drawing the 3d component in assembly in assembly first we have to draw or first we have to design the 3d part and then after we have to import the part in assembly and uh, the, uh, in the assembly we also made or we can also change the dimensions of the part third one is a drawing in the drawing here you can see this kinds of the things we generate in the drawing okay i made it in drawing here this is the a4 size of the page here you can apply the a0 a1 a2 a3 size of the page you can see it here you can put the different kinds of the things at here the date name of the part okay so first we are going to do or first we are going to make uh, this part so first click on part and then okay here you can see this is the part opening page and here the different different kinds of the command are available at here so first we have to draw first drawing this kinds of the 3d part you have to think about first the 2d view means when we are look on these uh, things at the front view side at this side so you just only see this kind of things okay you just things l kinds of the shape at here so we have to make the first in the geometry this kind of things then we have to extrude this 2d part so after that we can get uh, this is the extruded part when we extrude around the 150 not 150 around the 250 because the, this is the top wave okay around the 250 mm we have to extrude in these sides so by this we can get this kind of part okay then after we have to cut this part at here like this so first we gonna to make this kind of L shape okay so you have to think or uh, you have to watch the dimension of it 200 mm in this side 150 mm at the above side and here you can see uh, the 50 mm how it's a 50 mm the 30 mm is this line and this two curve line has a 10 mm radius so means 30 plus 10 plus 10 means 50 so by drawing this 2d you just click on the front by the right click this is the normal view look at this how it's uh, occur okay this is the front plan you can see the three plan at here front top and the right view you have to if you want to watch the more view you just click on this command view orientation 
okay then you find the handsome amounts of the view at here look at this handsome amounts of the view okay you can choose from here first i click right click on it it's a normal okay then again the right click and then this is the sketch first we have to draw the sketch so click on it okay when you click the sketch at that time you see the sketch at here so click on it and we have to make this kind of l shape then we have to accelerate the 250 mm this side so first we have to make this l shape in the 2d shape so i select the rectangle because you can see it here it's a look like in the rectangle but it's a line like it's not here and this is also look like in the rectangle but it's a lack of the this line so we made we will make the two rectangle at this side and cut out this line okay i'm show you this is the origin point first uh, this is the all the command i forget to tell you about it this is the line okay line comma and this is the center line uh, this is the five types of the rectangle at here corner type of the rectangle center type of three point corner rectangle this is the different different types of the rectangle and different kinds of the things at here we will watch uh, we will watch in the further video okay. first i'm going to select this center rectangle how it's a work you will watch it first click on it then you see that this kind of things and click on it the center point you can click anywhere okay look at this how it's a occur okay at the center uh, to both side it is in the equal sizing okay for changing the dimension of this four line you should click on the smart dimension okay then click on this line select this line and click again on it then you change the dimension at right here you can see this line has a 150 mm okay so we have to select the 150 okay. then it has a 50 mm in this side so i'm going to select this okay okay are the one part is ready okay this part and then after we made this part okay so it's a 200 mm from this side and 50 mm at this side so here i'm using the another rectangle the corner rectangle okay so i select the this look at this how it's a work first you have to just drag in it and then after you click on the smart dimension and change the dimension at here 200 mm you can see this part line is 200 mm and here it's the 50 so again i am going to select this is the 50 okay then look at this our part is almost ready like this but here you cannot see any kinds of the line at here okay so we delete this line okay we will delete this all the lines okay so for deleting this line we have to click on trim entity here also you can see the four types of not for so five time of the trim it here but uh, this is the power trim is the best and i like it so you just uh, drag it okay like this okay. 
here you can see the some kinds of the mistake has been done at here so we have to delete it okay hmm. so are the l is ready but one thing you cannot see at here this curve this curve we will applied after when we make this kind of the 3d part okay after that we will make it so we have to we generate these things okay uh, this is a front shape in the 2d shape so we have to drag in this side so we have to extrude it for drag this side we have to apply the extrude command so are the trim is ready are the sketch is ready so we have to go back to the other features you have to click on features and then the, this is the extrude command okay look at this here the extrude command here the 10 mm this thickness is around the 10 mm so we have to apply 250 mm okay look at this this is the same kinds of the things you can see at here okay and uh, this is the all the different different kinds of the command at here we will watching are the further video okay. first i am uh, show you uh, this is a blind okay if you apply the mid plane so it's gonna to be in the front okay uh, we draw we drew this part in the front plane Look at this, this front plate, but we have to apply the, these things into the middle of the front plane, so that's why I applied the mid plane. Okay. Then we have to cut uh, these things at here, you can see. So these things cut out things at uh, this bottom side, you can see in 3D part at the bottom side, so we have to cut at this things at the bottom side so we have to how to do I'm gonna to see I'm gonna to show you first click on this face because we have to cut this part at this face then doing any features first we have to make the sketch to the sketch and then after we can make the 3d parts First, to select this face, then right click again this normal command, okay. Then again, the right click and the sketch view. Then, after we can make the 2D sketch, okay. Otherwise, we cannot do this. Here, you can see the one types of the rectangle is over here, okay. This size is around 100 because the 8 is this, so 10. 10 means 100 then you can see okay. uh, so for making this kind of rectangle I'm going to select central command central rectangle by ease to make it okay when you go for the, this line, just go for this line, then you can see the one midpoint. So you have to select on it, then just drag it, okay, just drag it. Then go for the smart dimension and change it, 150. I didn't select the dimension at here, but I know it's a 75 mm. So that's why I selected the 150 means half portion is this side. So this is the 75 mm and this side is 100 mm. This side is 100 mm. Then, okay, then, okay. So you can see uh, this is the 3D, this is the 2D sketch. So we have to cut in this side okay in the downward side so go for the features and you have to select the extrude cut at here 
you can see the material is cut out in this downward side okay. so here also you can see the different kinds of the command at here through all through all means whatever kinds of the material at here whatever kinds of the thickness so it cut out that through all the material okay in the blind we can uh, confer the amounts of the thickness at here in the surface surface means another component at at the downward side okay so you should select the, the surface of these things okay so i'm going to do select it then you can see the material is removed so our part is almost ready you can see this kind of part you can see at here okay look at this kind of part but the problem is this radius okay so i am going to show how to easily provide the this radius and why we have to provide this radius because in the industry we cannot provide the sharp edges of any part so we have to reduce the this sharp edges okay because the at the sharp edges the other stress concentration is more so we have to reduce the their stress concentration for the safe design so how to do it so click on the fillet okay then here i apply the 10 mm radius because here you can see the radius is 10 mm so you have to just select this face okay then you can see all the radius is occur by itself then i select this one so you can see after that i am going to select this face then this downward face okay all the radius is almost ready select this okay you can also select the edge at here this edge this edge this edge so our part is fully ready okay you can see this is the same kinds of the part you can see at here okay. and uh, from here this command appearance you can provide the color at here plastic metal painted rubber glass here i am going to provide the plastic high glass plastic okay i click on the high glass plastic and you should drag on it you can watch the different kinds of the color at here i select the this high glass plastic you just drag on it you just have to apply the only the this face or on the this things whole body so i am apply the whole body you can see how it's look like it's look like amazing things okay so for watching the more videos you should subscribe my channel yar patel parts and share subscribe and like it thank you so much